the Jimmy Olsen Radio Network. Spinal adjustments provided by Dr. Chad Rolfson. The Spinal Tuning Chiropractic Center is a Des Moines area low flat fee per month unlimited chiropractic care practice. When life happens, just adjust. Schedule today at SpinalTuning.com. Barbecue provided by Kenny's Rib Wagon. Catering ribs for your pleasure and serving daily at Plaza Pub, 62nd and Douglas in Des Moines across from Merle Hay Mall. Find Kenny's Rib Wagon on Facebook. Welcome to Storytime, Father Frost. There was once upon a time a peasant woman who had a daughter and a stepdaughter. The daughter had her own way in everything, and whatever she did was right in her mother's eyes. But the poor stepdaughter had a hard time. Let her do what she would, she was always blamed, and got small thanks for all the trouble she took. Nothing was right, everything was wrong, and yet, if the truth were known, the girl was worth her weight in gold. She was so unselfish and good-hearted, but her stepmother did not like her, and the poor girl's days were spent in weeping, for it was impossible to live peacefully with the woman. The wicked shrew was determined to get rid of the girl by fair means or foul, and kept saying to her father, send her away, old man, send her away, anywhere, so that my eyes shan't be plagued any longer by the sight of her, or my ears tormented by the sound of her voice." Send her out into the fields and let the cutting of frost do for her. In vain did the poor old father weep and implore her pity. She was firm, and he dared not gainsay her. So he placed his daughter in a sledge, not even daring to give her a horse cloth to keep herself warm with, and drove her out into the bare open fields, where He kissed her and left her, driving home as fast as he could, that he might not witness her miserable death. Deserted by her father, the poor girl sat down under a fir tree at the end of the forest and began to weep silently. Suddenly, she heard a faint sound. It was King Frost, springing from tree to tree and crackling his fingers as he went. At length, he reached the fir tree beneath which she was sitting, and with a crisp crackling sound he alighted beside her and looked at her lovely face well maiden he snapped out do you know who i am i am king frost king of the red noses all hail to you great king answered the girl in a gentle trembling voice have you come to take me are you warm maiden he replied "'Quite warm, King Frost,' she answered, though she shivered as she spoke. "'Then King Frost stooped down and bent over the girl, and the crackling sound grew louder, "'and the air seemed to be full of knives and darts. "'And again he asked, "'Maiden, are you warm? "'Are you warm, you beautiful girl?' "'And though her breath was almost frozen on her lips, she whispered gently, "'Quite warm.' King Frost. Then King Frost gnashed his teeth and cracked his fingers, and his eyes sparkled, and the crisp, crackling, crisp sound was louder than ever. For the last time he asked her, Maiden, are you still warm? Are you still warm, little love? And the poor girl was so stiff and numb that she could just gasp, still warm. O king. Now her gentle, courteous words and her uncomplaining was touched by King Frost, and he had pity on her, and he wrapped her up in furs, covered her with blankets, fetched a great box in which were beautiful jewels and a rich robe embroidered in gold and silver, and she put it on and looked more lovely than ever. And King Frost stepped with her into his sledge with six white horses. In the meantime, the wicked stepmother was waiting at home for news of the girl's death and preparing pancakes for the funeral feast. And she said to her husband, old man, you had better gone out in the woods and find your daughter's body and bury her. Just as the old man was leaving the house, the little dog under the table began to bark, saying, your daughter shall live to be your delight. Her daughter shall die this very night. Hold your tongue, you foolish beast, scolded the woman. 
there's a pancake for you, but you must say her daughter shall have much silver and gold, and his daughter is frozen quite stiff and cold. But the doggy ate up the pancake and barked, saying, His daughter shall wear a crown on her head. Her daughter shall die unwooed, unwed. Then the old woman tried to coax the doggy more with pancakes and to terrify it with blows. But he barked on, always repeating the same words. And suddenly the door creaked and flew open, and a great heavy chest was pushed in. And behind it came the stepdaughter, radiant and beautiful in a dress all glittering with silver and gold. For a moment the stepmother's eyes were dazzled. Then she called to her husband, Old man, yoke the horses at once into the sledge, and take my daughter to the same field and leave her on the same spot exactly, so that the old man took the girl and left her beneath the same tree where he had parted from his daughter. In a few minutes, King Frost came past, and looking at the girl, he said, Are you warm, maiden? What a blind old fool you must be to ask such a question, she answered angrily. Can't you see that my hands and feet are nearly frozen? Then King Frost sprang to and fro in front of her, questioning her, and getting only rude, rough words in reply. Till at last he got very angry and cracked his fingers and gnashed his teeth and froze her to death. But in the hut, her mother was waiting for her return. And as she grew impatient, she said to her husband, Get out there, horses, old man, and go fetch her for home. But see that you are careful not to upset the sledge and lose the chest. But the doggy beneath the table began to bark, saying, Your daughter is frozen quite stiff and cold, and shall never have a full chest of gold. Don't tell such wicked lies, scolded the woman. There's cake for you, you say. Her daughter shall marry a mighty king. At that moment, the doors flew open, and she rushed out to meet her daughter. And as she took her frozen body in her arms, she was chilled to death. Father Frost. If you enjoyed this story, share it with others on social media, both Facebook and Twitter. You can follow me at my buddy Jimmy, as well as find me and my other podcasts at mybuddyjimmy.com. The Jimmy Olsen Radio Network.